There we go. No way. On the retreat. Is that fish? That's fish. What is up, YouTube? Welcome if you're new and welcome back if you're not. In this video, I'm gonna go into the Dollar General behind me, look around for some fishing gear, find whatever I think is the best, and go out and try to catch some fish with it. I know I'm super late to this Dollar General fishing challenge. I know a bunch of other people have already made videos like this, but it seemed like a fun little challenge to do, and I wanted to go out and challenge myself to catch some fish with some cheap Dollar General gear. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna go ahead, get inside the store, and see what I can find. Well guys, it looks like we are working with a pretty limited fishing section in this Dollar General. I'm seeing a big pack of spinner baits for eight bucks, which isn't too terrible. They actually don't look too bad. I'm seeing, what else? Looks like a little rod reel combo that has actually been returned, it looks like. So probably not gonna bother with that. We've got a four pack of bobbers, which is pretty much useless to me. And a little $10 fishing tool kit. Looks like it's got a crankbait, an inline spinner, and a spinner bait as far as actually useful lures goes. And mm, I'm not really too crazy about the way some of that looks. So I think I'm actually gonna just go with the spinner bait kit here i've seen worse looking spinner baits for higher prices so i think i mean there's five there for eight dollars that's like less than two dollars a piece which really isn't terrible so i think we're gonna go ahead go with these and see what i could catch with them all right thank you man hope you have a good one thank you So like I said in the intro guys, I know this video idea has already been done a few times before, but I think what's gonna set my video apart from others is that I'm actually gonna fish at the Dollar General. That Dollar General is right there and there's a big old retention pond right next to it that I've actually caught a few fish at before. So I'm gonna go ahead, get out on the yak and see if I could catch a few fish with the Dollar General baits at the Dollar General pond. Let's get out there and see how it goes. Well guys, unfortunately I didn't have any luck that first night, but it's a couple days later now and I'm back out on that Dollar General pond and I'm going to try my luck with these Dollar General spinner baits a little bit more this morning, see if maybe we could turn our luck around. Instead of that red and white bleeding shad colored spinner, I decided to tie on this more natural shad colored one and I'm going to see if we do any better with this one. Oh, on one. It's a little bass. Heck yeah, guys. Pretty cool. Just a tiny little bass, but we got it on the Dollar General spinner bait.
Ooh, something's feeding right in front of me. Is that fish? That's fish. It's a decent bass. Bigger than the first one for sure. Hell yeah, guys. Not very big, but quite a bit bigger than that first tiny little one. All right, guys. Still not a very big bass, but it is a pretty significant upgrade from that first one, and I'm just stoked to be catching them. To be honest, the action on these spinners does kind of suck, so I was a little skeptical, but we're putting some fish on the board, even if they're not really the best size. Still pretty happy with this little dude. Let's get it back in the water and see what else we could catch. Nice, another one. About the same size as that first little one. Still pretty neat though. All right, guys, just another little dink, but that's already bass number three in the Dollar General pond with the Dollar General spinner baits. Pretty awesome, if you ask me. Nice. I was just about to pull that. Oh, jeez. All right, buddy, relax. I was pretty much finished with that cast. Was going to pull my spinner bait back in, and this guy grabbed it right before I pulled it out of the water. Probably the second biggest of the day. Still just a tiny little dink, but pretty cool. Fourth fish of the day. I'll take it. Still nothing with any size to it, but I was honestly going to be pretty surprised if I even caught one fish with how awful the action is on these spinners. So we're already on bass number four, and I am pretty happy with the way things are going. Well, guys... I really wasn't too crazy about those spinner baits that I was using in the beginning of this video. I think I was getting pretty lucky even catching fish on them and to even get it to do anything I had to basically jig it instead of just straight retrieve it which you're supposed to be able to do with spinners. The blades just really did not want to spin on those and even if I did catch more fish I don't think I was really going to catch anything big with them. So I went ahead and went back into the Dollar General and picked up this other fishing kit and I'm gonna try my luck with this instead. The only thing is the pond right next to the Dollar General there is really shallow and some of these baits are gonna dive a little bit more. So I decided to go out to a different pond today and try my luck out here. So I'm gonna go ahead, rig something from this kit up and see if we could catch some bass with this today. I'm gonna start out with this craw pattern crankbait. There's not really any info about it in the kit, but it looks like it's about a medium diver and it's got tiny little hooks on it. It could probably use slightly meatier hooks. Not really the best looking crankbait I've ever seen, but it's got a decent sounding rattle in it and I think it might do all right. Let's send it out there and see if we can catch one. This is honestly the worst crankbait I have ever seen. It barely does what it's supposed to when it is acting right and actually diving. Half the time it just wants to spin around and the other half the time it doesn't even want to dive and it just wants to slide across the surface. So I'm pretty much giving up on this. Maybe if I catch something on every other bait in that kit, I'll switch back to this and just desperately try with it and see what happens but for now i'm thinking i'm just pretty much wasting my time throwing this thing around so i'm going to switch it up and try a different bait out of that kit not really sure what the thought process was when they put this kit together but it came with these tiny tiny little wide gap hooks and also some drop shot weights which i probably am not even going to use but i think i might try texas rigging a small soft plastic with these little mini wide gap hooks 
see if maybe I could catch something on those. I paired up one of those tiny wide gap hooks with one of these three inch Lost Creek craws in the color black and blue. And I added one of my own eighth ounce bullet weights to it just because I needed some weight. There's no way I was gonna be able to cast this with my bait caster weightless. So threw a little extra weight on there. Gonna go ahead, send this Texas rig out and see what we could do with it. Well, the bite was totally dead at that first spot I tried this morning, so I decided to pack it up and come over to this other spot, and I'm gonna try my luck here instead. No way. On the retrieve, I was done with that cast, pulling it back in, and a nice bass hammered it. Let's go. On that tiny, tiny little wide gap hook with the Lost Creek Craw, real nice bass. Well, I can't say I'm incredibly impressed with this fishing kit so far, but I do have to give them credit where it's due. Those little wide gap hooks are pretty nice. They're plenty sharp and pretty durable. This is a super nice largemouth bass and that tiny little hook handled it just fine. Real gorgeous bass. I am absolutely stoked for this catch. Fat, healthy, good bass. Let's get it back in the water and see what else we could catch. It's a few days later now and the sun is already setting so I really don't have much daylight left to work with but I wanted to get out here anyway and try my luck a little bit more with that Dollar General fishing kit. So I went ahead and I rigged up the spinner bait from that kit. I did trim the skirt way down because I'm not crazy about big skirts on my spinners and jigs. So I went ahead and trimmed that down. It was an orange and chartreuse skirt on there and I've got a Crush City cleanup craw on it as a trailer. So I'm just gonna try sending this around and see if maybe we could get a bite or two tonight. We've got a huge storm front coming in. There's actually a hurricane that's supposed to hit in the Gulf. So gonna send this around. Hopefully the bite's pretty hot because of that storm front coming in. No, no, I just had a good fish on. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. That is super depressing. Let's get back out there. Yes, not a big bass, but we got a bass on the spinner bait. But he hammered it too. Just a little guy, but we got it done on the spinner bait, and I am absolutely hyped about it. Hell yes, guys. Let's toss it back in the water and I might even cast around a little bit more. It is pretty dark, but I think I could get away with maybe four or five more casts before I'm completely out of light.
Well, it is a few days later now, guys, and I decided to tie another one of these tiny little EWG hooks on from that Dollar General fishing kit. And I'm gonna try my luck with a few different finesse baits tonight. The first one I'm gonna try out is this Colorado Customs knob end. It's in this nice little light blue and green pumpkin type color. So looks like a really decent color. This water is kind of stained, but not totally muddy. So should be decent for the water clarity. I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this around and we'll see if we could catch a bass or two with it. There we go. Decent largey. That took forever, guys. But we got one. Hell yes, guys. I definitely worked for this one. Took me pretty much all night, and I'm getting tore up by mosquitoes and noceums. But we finally got this decent bass to hit the Colorado Customs knob end, rigged up with one of those tiny little EWG hooks from the Dollar General fishing kit there. Pretty freaking awesome. Decent little bass for sure. All right, guys, I know this hasn't really been the craziest video I've ever posted or anything, but I actually had a lot of fun catching bass on those cheap Dollar General lures. I really wouldn't recommend buying those spinner baits and that first spinner bait kit I was using just because they were kind of poorly made and they didn't have a ton of action. The spinner blade didn't really want to spin very well on them. I almost had to kind of jig the baits to get them to have any action. With that being said though, I did end up catching a few bass, nothing really big, but ended up catching a few bass and in the Dollar General pond too, which was awesome. But the little tackle kit on the other hand, I probably would recommend. That actually had those micro EWG hooks in it, which were awesome. They were nice and sharp and plenty durable. I thought those were great. And the spinner bait in that kit was also really awesome. I didn't try the inline spinner, but the bass spinner bait had great action. The color scheme was okay. I would have changed the color if I could, probably would have got like a black and blue or something if I could pick my choice of color, but that was the only colors they had. So that was the one I went with. And the only thing I would really improve on that spinner bait is the bait keeper. It just didn't have the best bait keeper ever. So the soft plastics I was using as trailers kind of wanted to slide down the hook a little bit sometimes. But aside from that, it was a great spinner bait and had surprisingly good action for being in such a cheap little kit. It also came with those pliers, which were surprisingly pretty nice and came with a little bit of other tackle too that I didn't really use. But overall, I was real impressed with the little tackle kit and I would recommend that one for the price. And aside from that, I don't have a ton more to say about it. I do want to say though, I'm sorry I haven't really been uploading much lately. I was in the middle of working on this video and that hurricane actually hit, uh, Hurricane Milton, I keep forgetting the name of it, but yeah, Hurricane Milton hit while I was in the middle of working on this video. So it's a few weeks later now. My house didn't get hit too hard, but my area got hit and I actually ended up evacuating for that and then having to clean up. I ended up boarding up my house and everything, putting all the storm shutters down and all that. So I had to kind of clean my house up and just kind of, wasn't really focusing too much on YouTube for a few weeks there, but I'm back after it now and I'll be making videos again, hopefully. So stay tuned and keep an eye out for future videos. And other than that, that's about it. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks again for watching all the way to the end guys. And I'll see you guys on the next one and I'll see you on the water.